Hi, I'm Mark Stout, a licensing manager here at Wharf, working in the nutraceutical space. And I'm Justin Anderson, senior IP manager. We'd like to congratulate Kuan Yin Hu, Jun Liu, and their team as a 2021 Wharf Innovation Award finalist. Probiotic transplantation has emerged as an exciting new field for disease treatment. And the enhanced delivery mechanism in this invention uses a novel double layer coating strategy to treat intestinal disorders. We really look forward to our continued collaboration on this research. And we wish them the best in the awards competition. Hey, my name is Cheng Ying Hu. I'm currently an assistant professor in School of Pharmacy, Pharmaceutical Science Division. Bacterial therapy, such as fecal microbiota transplantation, has been used in the clinic for treating infectious disease in the GI tract, such as inflammation, bowel disease. So, however, oral delivery of bacteria is facing significant challenges that inhibits their clinical application. First, harsh external environment in the GI tract, such as acidic stomach environment that are capable of killing delivered bacteria. Second, rapid GI transit time, limiting retention time of bacteria in the intestine. So these obstacles collectively result in insufficient bacteria availability and the low therapeutic efficacy. So we developed a double layer biomaterials encapsulation strategy using L100 polymer and tannic acid to coat probiotics for enhanced delivery efficiency and the therapeutic efficacy. So as shown in this figure, so once double layer biomaterials coated ECM probiotics are orally administered, L100 layers could protect the ECN from the attack of acidic environment in the stomach and increase the viability of delivered ECN. After extruded into the intestine, the L100 layer could be degraded due to pH responsiveness and expose the tannic acid coated ECN for adhesion to the mucosal tissues, enhancing the retention time of ECN in the intestine. To further facilitate the potential clinical translation, the adhesive T layer could be removed by simple addition of small molecules called EDTA, which will eliminate potential side effects. We try to translate our technology into a clinical application. So our next step includes evaluation of long-term biosafety and therapeutic efficacy on large animal models, such as pig model.